this uh, our, our guest this week, I'm very, very excited to have. Uh, you can, you've seen him on YouTube. He's been viewed over 5 million times with his Song a Day campaign. He will reach a 1,000 songs at the end of the summer. He's got an awesome Kickstarter that we are going to plug at the end of this, uh, at the end of this show. Please. Uh, he is a guy who's been introduced by Steve Jobs at an Apple uh, Antenna Gate press conference. Welcome to NSFW, Mr. Song a Day himself, performing Ren the Polyamorous Polar Bear, Jonathan Mann. Hi. This is a song about a polar bear. His name is Ren. It's a story of redemption and, and love. I knew a polar bear. His name was Ren. He fell in love with a flock of penguins. Now Ren was polyamorous, so he believed it could work. But the penguins were monogamous, and so he left feeling like a big jerk. started walking towards his iceberg home but the ice was melting and so he set off alone just wandering the tundra he was searching for love cursing the ground that he walked upon Cursing the sky up, 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 up. Oh, Ren, the polyamorous polar bear. Oh, Ren, the polyamorous polar bear. After months of walking, he wound up in New York. Became a hipster in Williamsburg And the fish market was his work One day while catching the subway Ran was in a big hurry He ran into this beautiful girl Who happened to be dressed up like a polar bear furry She introduced them to her friends Oh, Ran Polyamorous polar bear Flavors of wind, dude. That is awesome. That was so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank so you very much, much, Jonathan. Thank you, guys. Okay. I really appreciate it. So, 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 in all seriousness, like, how far into this experiment are you? Uh, eight hundred and gosh, what is today? Sixty-seven, I think. Eight hundred sixty-seven or sixty-eight. Now, I, I, we were talking about this beforehand, and I was explaining to Justin, it's like, this is a crucible. This is your, this is your <laughs> Beatles going to Germany and just playing for 12 hours a day straight every single day. Like, once you've experienced this, you, you will have no fear of creating new material ever, like, ever again. What's different about being at the latter half of the experience versus the first part of the experience? Um. That's a really good question. Uh, not much. It's I, I do think that I have improved, which is which is sort of interesting because when you you know improving, it's not something that you can always notice while it's happening. But but certainly um, since I've been documenting this, you know, through music and video, I can go back and 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 sort of track my improvement. Um, you know, just just sort of in my opinion or whatever. It's like, oh yeah, man. I, I, I wouldn't ever write a song 
like that, you know, uh, a number 204 or whatever. Oh, man, you know, that's that, not as good there, or whatever. Is there, is there, this is an early one, right, uh, right, Jonathan? What's that? Oh, there, Ren. There, yeah, Ren, Ren is early. So, that you know, that's the thing about, I mean, the way I think about Song of Day is that like 10%, you know, or about anything really is that like 10% of them are going to be, you know, are going to be really good. And then like 70% of them are going to be like mediocre and then like 20 percent of them are going to suck. And I, I think that's sort of been true all throughout. It's like maybe like maybe one or two a month are like keepers, you know, I'll write one and be like, hey, like that's a pretty good song. But now, at the I same time, what is, yeah. Oh, I was, I was going to ask what, as you know, one of the weird aspects of the Internet is that everything's written in Sharpie and there's no backseas. Is there anything that you kind of wish you could take back or just you, you just you're busy moving forward? Yeah, um, that's a that's another really good question. There hasn't been anything particularly. I wrote all these questions for Ryan, by the way, Jonathan. <laughs> for the record, sweet. Um, uh, there, I, I entered this jingle competition for for Bing, um, Microsoft's um, you know search engine Bing, uh, and, and it was called by M G Siegler at TechCrunch. Um, it won this 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 jingle won. It was called by M G Siegler the worst jingle. In the world, oh my um, god! And I, you know, the, the thing, the, last... about, <laughs> the thing about it was, I couldn't really disagree with them. You know what I mean? It was, it was, it was pretty bad. It was very catchy, um, but at the same time, like that, that's that was kind of a low point and a high point at the same time. Because on the one hand, I wrote this, you know, kind of shitty song in like in a half an hour or whatever, how long it took me to write it. On the other hand, um, you know, it got posted on TechCrunch, and so that was pretty cool. So. Um, even the bad things I think have sort of have their, have their place and have their, their merits, I guess. So I, I would imagine one of the nice things about this kind of experiment and pro, uh, project is that somebody can discover you today and go back and I assume go through all 800 plus songs so far and watch your, your progression, uh, personally. Do you find that, that you find people who kind of discover you like all of a sudden you're this treasure trove of experience and development to watch an artist, you know, become develop into, you know, his full potential. And, uh, and when that, like, I guess what I'm asking is, is, um, what kind of success have you enjoyed as a result of not only the nature of your music, but the novel way that you're expressing it? Um, well, the first part of the question, yeah, like there's been a few, there's been a few people, um, who have sort of become obsessed, as it were, and gone back and watched every single one, and then they write me and they're like, whoa, or whatever. Um, there's even a guy who, who maintains a spreadsheet, and he has this, like, ranking system, one through five, and he ranks every song as they come, <laughs> uh, and, uh, oh. and all that kind of stuff. So, which like, is, like, you know... Which, personal pitchfork. Yeah, exactly. My own personal, like, dude that does that. Now... If I could get like, you know, a hundred people to do that, I might have something, you know, where it would be really interesting to see how the percentages actually work. Um, but yeah, the, the, you know, the, the success or the limited success that I have had with it has, has mostly come through the occasional sort of aligning of the stars w with regards to sort of viral videos like the iPhone 4 antenna song that Steve Jobs um, used at his press conference or the Bing thing. Um, but for the most part, my songs are, are so like from day to day are so inconsistent, um, both in terms of like topic, um, style of the song and, 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 and frankly quality that I think, I think it takes a sort of really, uh, let's say like special kind of person to sort of like, to sort of d jump in and, and want to follow me the whole way through, um, uh, just because it is, it, you know, the internet is, is really good at like, at like specific things, but I'm sort of like all over the place all the time. Um, and if you like that, then you'll probably like, you know, my song of day project. Well, listen, uh, everybody get your follow fingers ready because John is all over the internet. Uh, you can follow him on Twitter at song a day, man, that is man with two ends, like his last name, of course. On Twitter, where he posts, posts a song a day. It's not just a clever name, kids. It is YouTube.com slash The Rock Cookie Bottom. And uh, I'll tell you what. This is a super awesome project that I am I'm very, uh, very, very excited uh, for him to get funded on Kickstarter. You can go to bit.ly slash kick J, the letter J, man, M-A-N-N. -N. 
And uh, in June, right, uh, Jonathan, you're going to do the whole band thing? Can you explain that? That's- yeah, that's right. I mean, unfortunately, the Kickstarter has ended, and and we did get funded. Um, so oh, people, awesome. hey, great. Yeah, no, it's. It, I mean, it's great. Um, so people can can you know write to me or whatever if you still want to find other ways to contribute. That would be really wonderful. But the whole idea of of June is that, um, you know, up until now, Song a Day has been a solitary thing. It's been just me in my room playing all the instruments. Um, recording it myself. I'm not a. I'm not like a recording engineer or anything by any means. Um, uh, and it's been it's been limited by you know by what I can do in a day all by myself um, in all of those aspects. Uh, so what I decided to do is try to put together a campaign whereby I could hire some of my really talented friends. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in um, my friend Nick Krill from the Spinto Band, who uh, is a really great recording engineer, and another guy from the Spinto Band. Thomas Hughes is going to come, and uh, he's a great multi-instrumentalist, and bring in those guys to sort of help me through the month of June shape and create the 30 songs in 30 days in the month of June, or 31 days, however many days it is. Um, and the other big thing about it is that it's going to be live streamed. We're going to do like a, one of these 24-hour live stream kind of things. So the whole time that we're in the studio making music and whatever, you'll be able to watch uh, and see us as we sort of progress through the month. And at the end of the month, um, uh, the audience is going to decide which 10 songs from the month are going to go on uh, whatever the finished final album is going to be. And this is all leading up to September 28th, which is when my thousandth song a day song uh, happens. So on September 28th, we're going to release the album that we um, record in June at a big thousandth song a day song celebration type, type deal. So. In many ways, do you consider this to be your big final exam? Like, do you have nerves about it coming? Or are you just excited to have the project over? Because, I mean, you kind of went to songwriting college over the last three years. I did. Um, and I am, I am pretty nervous about it um, because, you know, because taking, taking it from being a solitary thing and having it all sort of rest on me and then bringing in all these other people who are going to be looking to me you know, to sort of lead the whole thing and write hopefully good songs. But, um, you know, one thing I've learned is that, is that the, the most detrimental thing to writing a good song is like trying to write a good song. If that makes any sense. Like, no, totally, totally. You set your expectations, you get all twisted up rather than just feeling it and discovering the music in there. Exactly. Uh, and and uh, the way I've thought about it is like to stop caring, basically. Like the moment you stop caring about what you're creating, ironically, like the better thing you create. Absolutely. That that is amazing. And I'll tell you what, if you guys are not uh a, aware of the Spinto band, please go check them out. They are they are Definitely. one of my favorite uh bands uh who currently put out music. And uh I am so excited for this project because I'm a big fan of your work as well, Jonathan. And also Thanks. I just realized I'm going to be, you're, you're in, the, in the San Francisco area, right? That's right. I'm yep. actually going to be in the San Francisco area in June. I would Woo-hoo. love to come by and, and, and say hello to you while you're in the middle of this. Yeah, definitely. No, that'd be great. That'd be fantastic. I do want to point out, too, that this is a common, a common misconception. I'm not actually stopping. This is really embarrassing. I'm not actually stopping at 1,000, um, by the way. Okay. Uh, um, it's funny because... Uh, all the stuff that I've put out about this, I, I say how my thousandth song a day song is coming up and people naturally assume because who in their right mind would keep going after <laughs> Like, you know, it, it, it makes sense that like, Oh, he reached a thousand. He's going to stop. Like, that's a really, that's a, that's a natural thing to do. But, but honestly, like it, it the laws of motion and things like, you know, um, it's easier to keep going now then it would be to stop. Honestly, I don't know like what I would do with myself if I had to stop. So, just uh, FYI, I'm I'm st- I'm stay go- still going to be going. Well, That's that awesome. is that is super amazing. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you what, everybody again on Twitter, it is at Song A Day Man with two ends, and on YouTube, uh, it is uh, YouTube.com slash The Rock Cookie Bottom. Jonathan, man, thank you so much for uh, for thank playing you. here on the NSFW show. Yeah, and actually, thank you I've guys. Been- 